So you wanna use Nano Banana Pro, but you're a little confused about this link API key preventing you from using it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what this is, how to set it up, set up billing, and talk a little bit about pricing around all this stuff, because I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about how I set this up and how much am I paying. So I'm gonna walk you through that. So let's get right into it. I'm using Google AI Studio right now. We'll talk about Gemini, second half of this video. So the issue right now is there's no API key. An API is basically a connection to their cloud servers. Every time you process something or render something, you get dings in terms of like paying for it. It's, it's very, very cheap, but it's an easy way to track usage. This is more for developers, but this is the only way to get the extra functionality that you don't get in Gemini. And it's also kind of free right now. Uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit. So first thing I want to do is go over to my dashboard. You're going to see all available API keys. I'm actually in a fresh account. So this is what you should be seeing from scratch. You should see like a default project. Talking about projects, we're going to go over to projects. And what you're going to want to do is create a new project. So click this guy and let's call this whatever you want. You will never see this. This is just so you know. So the idea is like if you were working on a website, and you have this API set up for that site, you would call it that site. That way you can see and track, okay, you know, site A is using this much traffic, site B is this much. So I'm gonna hit create project. And this is what everyone gets hung up on. This little guy, you need to set up a billing because the billing will give you the API key. See how there's nothing here? So I'm gonna hit set up billing. And again, this is a fresh account. So it's basically saying, all right, you gotta set this up, but you do get $300 in free credits. So that's why I was saying it's kind of free. So I'm gonna hit agree and continue and then fill out your contact information. So once you fill out the contact information, add payment information. So this could be a credit card, debit card, bank account. I'm gonna do add debit card, credit card, and then I'm gonna hit save card. And now because we were saying $300 in free credits, you could start free. You may or may not get this. I have multiple accounts, multiple businesses, all using same cards, different cards. So. I'm just gonna go to go to linked billing account and there we go. So I am in it right now. So check this out. You see where it says free trial status, 300 credits, 91 days remaining. I can hit activate right here and then that will activate the free credits, right? So I'll hit activate. Okay, keep any remaining, blah, blah, blah. Pay only for what you use. Okay, billing starts once your free trial ends. So we're all free right now. So I'm gonna hit create and hit continue. You could definitely get fancier here and set budget alerts. Let's say you're using this a lot. Say like, hey, every time we hit 100 bucks, let me know. So I'm gonna hop back to my AI studio and I'm just gonna refresh this page and you'll see it says tier one. Okay, that's good. So we've got that set up. Now we need to generate an API key. So if I click this guy, I'm gonna see create API key. I'm gonna click that and let's call this API. Doot. And I'm gonna set it to this project, okay? And then hit create key and again, you know, you can name them whatever you want. You're never going to look at this unless you're, you're a developer. So I'm going to hit create key. Okay. Now that I have this here, I can go back to the home screen. So dashboard home and then try Nano Banana Pro. I want to link that API key we just created because right now I still can't create anything. So I'm going to hit link API key. It's going to find API tut as the project. And then this is the key we created. It's all here, right? So I get select key and there we go. It fixes that. Now I could just, you know, say, design a modern residential house and then i can run this and you see how it's working it's telling me confirmation right here hey you're using this api key as part of this project any requests will be charged which makes sense and i'm going to show you how to track your usage as well so now that i have this here i want to show you how to track so if you go over to dashboard this is where you can actually like rename everything if this isn't like i don't know good enough for you you can click this guy right here view usage and look at that. These are my, my tokens or my usage that we just used from that conversation. Okay. So then here you can see with billing, you know, what it's going to cost you because this is all free and it hasn't been 24 hours since we just made this account. We're not going to see any of that right there, but you know, definitely monitor this. But the point is this isn't going to be very, very expensive. Like it's, it's not like $5 a, a request, you know, it's, it's like, less than pennies, you know? Um, so that's how you do this. So this was the, the Google AI studio conversation. Now let's switch gears to Gemini. Cause I feel like people are a little confused about that. So now I'm in regular Gemini, right? So we don't have all that fancy functionality on the right where it's not customizable. We just have a simple text and then output with our prompt box down here, right? If you're using this for free, you're going to get like three generations a day and then you're going to be locked. 
if you want to pay for a subscription, that's why I have this little pro button here. If you want to go over and check out, they're called Google AI plans, right? Okay. Zero bucks for the first month. And then it bumps up to 20 bucks. Okay. So if I scroll right down here, you're going to see this Google one plan is going to give you Google AI throughout like the whole Google studio. So like, you know, email sheets, search, Chrome, it's everywhere. So I definitely recommend it. I mean, I, I use this stuff all the time, so I find it really useful. Um, but this is really what you need. So it's like either you do it the more complicated Google AI studio method that I just showed you and you have your $300 worth of credits and you use that for a bit, or you hop on a plan again, free for the first month and that bumps up to 20 bucks a month. Okay. And if you're feeling really crazy, you could go to AI ultra, which is 250 bucks a month. But anyways, the point is you're getting access to the latest and greatest models. That's all you need. Um, but in general, the perks, the perks are nice. I, I mean, I, I do like Gemini and Gmail and docs and all that. So that's functional having access to Gemini and nano banana there. That's, that's an added bonus, but I'm a tinker. So I do like the Google AI studio workflow. So anyways, I hope this clears things up because the amount of comments I got on my previous video about Nano Banana Pro and all this was insane because um, it's a little complicated. So anyways, if you have questions, drop in the comments. I'll get back to you. As always, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. See you next time.